Hi, my name is Katherine Faison and I'm with Isaac. I'm a 49 year old black female with four black sons. Three of my sons are grown. One is a teenager. I've had to deal with racism all my life and I'm currently dealing with racism now. The block that I live on is a predominantly white block. I pretty much had them do everything but call me the N-word. I've had them tell me that they had more education than anyone in my household. They go to work every day and pay for me to be on this block. And one literally told my son that when my dog got out, my son went to grab him get his dog for he put one in him and his dog to my 13 year old son and my 13 year old son came in and he got me i went outside and asked him what was the conversation he had with my son and he began to curse me out the police were called explained to them what was going on And the police officer told me, he said, well, he told him he didn't tell him that. So there was nothing that they could do. And had that been a black man that said that to a little white kid and that little white kid told them that he threatened to shoot him and his dog, they just took him to jail. And if there was any type of problems with him being arrested, he might not have even been here. Unfortunately, that's the world that we're living in today. A lot of the issues that we go through even when it comes to the police is just because of the laws and policies that were set up. That's why I fight every day for racial equity because as black people, we go through racism all the time. And we're gonna continue to go through it until laws and policies are changed. These laws and policies need to be changed because they were set up to suppress the black race. So until there's change, they're gonna always continue to suppress us. And we do have a lot of people that are working with us, a lot of white people, because all white people are not racist. But we all have to continue to push and fight, push and fight for change. Because for me, I'm gonna continue to fight till the day I die. Having four black male sons and you not knowing when something happens, if it's one of yours, I'm gonna continue to fight. And I'm praying my sons are watching, watching me through this fight so that they can continue the fight because I want my fight to make things better for my kids. I want my kids to fight to make things better for their kids and so on and so on. So I just want to say, that I do believe in change. I do believe that there can be change. And I know it's not an easy fight or easy road ahead, but we're gonna continue to do it. We're gonna continue to fight and we're gonna continue to make changes.